name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome 2017. I know both you and I count it a blessing that we are here today to celebrate a new day, a new year. Welcome to 2017. I am not a fortune teller. But I know for sure that two things will happen in 2017. First, you will have an idea. And second, you will have a problem. There are two recently published children's book entitled, What Do You Do? with an idea, and what do you do with a problem? For today's homily, I want to focus on the first question. What do you do with an idea? Next week, we will examine the second question. The author of the book, Kobe Yohama, tells a simple story of a young boy who woke up one day with an idea and takes us on a journey of discovery. I am going to share this story with you today. It begins, so once upon a time there was a little boy who had an idea. After an attempt to ditch the idea, the little boy quickly realized that the idea was not going away. The idea kept following him. Then the story continues with the boy worrying about what others might think about his idea. So he kept the idea to himself, almost pretending that the idea did not exist. But then he realized that he could no longer, that he was no longer the same person that he was before he had the idea. As time passes, the boy realizes that he loves being in the company of his idea. He felt better and happier when the idea was around. He also learned that the idea needed to be nurtured it needed his attention. Before long, the idea grew. And while he was afraid, he began to share his idea with others. He was afraid that people would laugh at it. He was afraid that they would find his idea silly. And he was right. People poked fun at him and his idea. They said the idea was no good. The idea was weird. More, exploring the idea was a waste of his time because it would never become anything. At first, he believed them. He abandoned his idea. But just then, he had an epiphany. And it was this. What do they know? What do these people know? This is my idea, and no one knows it like I do. It is okay if it is a little crazy, different, weird. So he picks up his idea and continues to nurture it, to care for it, to feed it, to work with it, to play with it, to give the idea his attention. The idea grew and grew. And so did the boy's love for his idea. He loved this idea because it made him feel more alive. It made him feel like he could do anything. It encouraged him to think, and then to think bigger. The idea taught him how to live and how to see the world. Then one day, before his eyes, the idea transformed right in front of him. 
The idea spread its wings, took flight, and then burst into the sky. The idea went from being near to him to being everywhere. It was part of everything. Just then, just then he realized what do you do with an idea? You change the world. I know that you know this story. Perhaps you see it in yourself. I know that I see it in you. I know it because this is the story of our Christian faith. Creation, first an idea. Justice, first an idea. Righteousness, first an idea. Love, first an idea. The incarnation, first an idea. Salvation, first an idea. God created the human body to make each of us holders of these ideas so that they might become reality. Adam and Eve, Moses, Ruth and Naomi, David, Elizabeth and Mary, Joseph, Jesus. The fact is, we are made to birth, protect, and share an idea. So, this is what we're going to do in 2017. Young, old, working, not working, retired, full mobility, limited mobility, light and free, heavy and filled with past regret. Wherever you are, whoever you are, in 2017, an idea will be birthed in you. And like the boy in our story, accept the idea as yours. Love it, nurture it, be a fool for your idea, and be ready to share it. Now, ideas are of the good and bad variety. To make likely your ideas is of the good kind, invite God into your idea. Pray with God about the idea. Ask God to help you care for it. Ask God for the courage to share it. Ask God for comfort when others ridicule you. Ask God to reveal when it is time to let it go. How do I know that we can dare such things, that we can ask for such things? Well, my friends, this is the Christmas story. It is a story that placed a salvific idea in the heart of Mary and Joseph. And boy, did they protect it. They were ridiculed for it. But with the help of God's hand, the idea brought us light, our salvation. Jesus. Jesus who teaches us to dream heaven on earth. Jesus who reminds us of our spiritual heritage. Jesus who embodies God's grace. Jesus who makes abundance out of scarcity. Jesus who tells the poor that they are blessed and theirs is the kingdom of God. Jesus who tells us what really matters. Love God, love our neighbors, love ourselves. From an idea to Jesus. In Jesus we are all entitled to an abundant and everlasting life. So, in 2017, you will have an idea. Acknowledge it, protect it, love it, fight for it, then let it go 
to the world. Gracious God, you have gifted us all with the capacity to conceive ideas. Thank you for placing an idea in each of us. We ask now that you be in these ideas and lead us through a process that readies us to share these ideas with our families, with our friends, with our community, and with our world. Ideas are given to us to embolden us, to make our lives livelier. Let us not forget that. But when we do forget, send an angel to remind us. Amen.